Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, folks? Rich Stanton here, back for the old daily challenge. We're still on the old uh, vanilla spelunker because we uh, just haven't got that robot, have we? Sad, sad times. But never mind. We'll be Indiana Jones. In we go. Ooh, crate. That's the kind of thing I like to see. That's the kind of thing I want. Uh, oh, brilliant. What a good start that was. Well, at least I didn't fall in the spikes. You know, small mercies, small mercies. We'll get a pug. We'll be fine. Bloody hell, nearly hit myself in the head with a rock as well. Well, this bodes well, doesn't it? Um, I've been playing too much GTA, I think. You know, if I can't get in a car and drive over the bats, then uh, what's the point? That's what I want to know. In your face. Now, is that... No, that's not leading to the... I see the pug. I see the... P oh, what? Oh, man. Uh, that is going to take some serious hardware to get through. And I'm not really sure I've got... You know, I've got the answer. Uh, I probably could get through there with lots of bombs. Um, but... Hmm, i got to say, folks. I'm out of here. Uh... I mean, I know I wasted a heart there, and I really should get that pug, but, you know, sometimes shit doesn't work out. Oh, nice! In your face, spider! Oh, well, that's a turn turn up for the books. Things are getting a bit better now. Anyway, how are you all doing? I've been playing more GTA, a bit more Pro Evo, and uh, this kind of super cool steampunk robot card game that I'm... Uh, taking a look at for RPS, uh, which I won't talk about too much because I haven't written the thing yet. It's not really fair on them, is it? Uh, but yeah, I've been quite enjoying the old uh, gaming this week. Oh, what's going on? Ah, that's such a bad situation, isn't it? Fuck you. Um, yeah, I haven't played them. Um, basically with GTA, I kind of immersed myself in it for a couple of days and I haven't quite played it since. Uh, so it's quite weird to go back in. This is probably how it'll be for me um, going going forwards, to use the terrible business phrase. Uh, oh no, I'm going to need to use a rope. Is that worth it? Yeah, let's see what that guy's got in his shop. Hello, shopkeeper. Hmm. Oh, what? A hundred short. That'll do. Lovely. Thank you, Mr. Shopkeeper. Now, that's making me feel a little bit better about today. Obviously, we've got less cash, but, you know, cash can't buy you bombs. Well, it can buy you bombs. Obvious, obviously. But you know what I mean. When you're in a situation when you need bombs, there's not always a shop around to sell you them. Uh, kill the spy. Oh. Let's just wait here for the bat. And bring him down. Why not? What's in there? Oh, some ropes. Lovely. Yeah, I've um, like I said the other day, I'm not really sure how far I am through GTA's story. Like, I've got all three characters, and I can switch between them at will now. Uh, I'm quite enjoying it. I'm not really sure who I prefer going around as. I quite like um, I quite like all of them really. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, is it Lester? That guy's like the biggest dick in the world. But you know, at the same time, there's like you can see what they were doing. Like each of them is a you know, not not in a strict sense, you know, this isn't like a formal academic analysis or anything, but you can see that each of those characters kind of represents a kind of aspect of GTA, if you like, uh, some, you know, a way of playing. So like Lester's the total sociopathic douchebag that we all are sometimes when you're playing that, you know, you just run around murdering civilians and uh, shooting police, having a laugh. Uh, nothing wrong with that, good clean fun. Uh, whereas, you know, I guess, I'm not really sure what Mikey is, maybe he's the guy who kind of, you know, worries too much about what it all means, maybe he's the guy who's writing all these opinion pieces, slagging it off. I haven't really, um, I should say, I haven't uh, read much of the stuff people have written on GTA, because um, I'll probably be wanting to write something myself. Um, I do think it's like a super interesting game and it's super awesome. I mean, like you can slag off GTA all you want, but you know, really like, you know, 
I think a lot of people slag off GTA. Oh shit! Oh shit! Fuck you, GTA. I blame that on Sam and Dan Houser and the team at Rockstar North. You cocksuckers. How could you do that to me? Impaled. Uh, sorry folks, too much time spent talking about GTA there, not enough focusing on the task at hand. Sorry about that. Well, <laughs> let's see if anyone's done worse than us. Not a chance. Not a chance. Everyone's streaking ahead. That looked like a really good um, seed as well. Whoops. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Um, yeah, it looked like a really good um, setup, but I just played it like a fucking idiot. Uh, sorry about that. I'll be back tomorrow, and hopefully not quite as shit. Uh, congratulations to my vanquishers for today. Catch you next time. Bye bye.